Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is adding non-solution aware cloud flows to solutions and we're going to specifically focus on connection references. Let's go. Now before we get into the content I just wanted to uh, shout out to you the audience. Uh, today is the 100th episode since I started regularly posting on this channel and so that happened January 2020 and uh, I've pretty much released an episode every single week since then. Sometimes, if I'm feeling overly ambitious, multiple in the same week. So thank you for all your support and uh, always appreciate any sort of likes, subscribes, comments, just to help with the algorithm, try to get the channel some more recognition and more visibility. Okay, so let's talk about why this episode is important. So connection references are, are relatively new, like certainly within the last year or so, and they're important from an ALM perspective, application lifecycle management. And they become particularly important when we talk about managed solutions. So managed solutions, the intent of those is that you develop uh, a solution, you export it as a managed package, you then deploy it to a subsequent environment, whether that be a test environment or a prod environment. And then the idea is that you don't touch it. You don't try to modify it you leave it as is, and if you need to make changes, you go back to your first environment, likely dev, make your changes there, then promote up through a life cycle and doing it in a very structured manner. Now, connection references were introduced to support managed solutions with Power Automate. Previously, the guidance was to actually use unmanaged because whenever you promoted to another environment, you had to have to go ahead, open up the flow, modify the connections, and if you do that in a managed solution, you end up making changes in an unmanaged layer, which becomes very difficult to go ahead and to maintain, in my opinion. So managed solutions are the way to go. You can deploy to prod, and you can ensure that your package, the integrity remains intact, and you have some structure. And the connection references allow you to create bindings that happen at import time. So this idea that we have a placeholder, hence the reference, and for that specific placeholder, we can go ahead and bind it to a connection on import. So kind of like just in time. So we're not actually modifying our solution package after it's actually deployed. Now, one thing that does hang up people a little bit is that connection references are only found in solutions. If you go ahead and create a flow outside of a solution, you can't create a connection reference. It's just not supported. Connection references are only available when you have cloud flows inside of a solution. So with this said, you know, my recommendation is to always start from a solution and then when you go ahead and create that cloud flow, the connection reference will already be created for you automatically and you don't have to, to touch it. However, I do recognize that that's not always the case. For one, you might have an older cloud flow that uh, you now want to include in a solution and you need to create these connection references. Another scenario is a template. Whenever you have a template, those are not solution aware. So you start with that uh, you know, non-solution aware template and then you want to include it in a solution itself. So the good news with all of this is that managing your connection references when you take a non-solution aware flow and you include it in a solution, Microsoft has recently updated a feature that helps with that. And that's what we're going to focus on today is we're going to go ahead and add connection references to a Cloudflow that's been added to a solution in a very low friction manner. And so stay tuned, let's get into a walkthrough right now. All right, so today what I have is just a scenario walkthrough and I'll take you through this specific example. Now this is kind of the most important sort of screen that we're gonna to see today. This is that new feature that will detect when you've gone ahead and added a non-solution aware flow to a solution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a blank solution. Now it doesn't have to be blank, but when I was going through this, um, this is where I had started from. So blank solution, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new flow, but I'm not gonna do it inside of here because then I wouldn't be able to demonstrate that feature. I do feel that whenever possible, do create new cloud flows from within the solution. But in my scenario, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my flows and I'm gonna create my solution over there. Now what's in the, the flow isn't overly important, 
Uh, in this case, I do want to have a few different connections, a few different connectors, just to demonstrate that this works for you know multiple connections. It's not just a one-off where it works for a specific type of connection. So here I'm going to go ahead and connect to SharePoint. I'm going to connect to Dataverse, and then I'm also going to go ahead and connect to a desktop flow as well. Once I've gone ahead and built this out and tested it, then you know that's that's it from that perspective. Now, what is important here though is if you've been in solutions and outside of solutions, you're going to notice that the menu looks a little bit different whenever you click on the ellipsis for a specific action. When I'm outside of a solution, I have connections. However, when I'm inside of a solution, I have connection references. And so the reason for this is that connection references are only supported in solutions. So we're not going to see them here. And this is kind of, you know, speaks to the challenge that we currently have is like the difference between being in a solution and not. However, you know, things are improving here and I'm going to show you that a little bit shortly. But I did want to call that out because it's an important distinction that you're not going to find connection references when you're not in a solution aware Cloudflow. After I've gone ahead and built my Cloudflow, I've tested it, life's good. I am going to go ahead and add it to that solution. So I can go ahead and click on Add Existing, select Cloudflow, and then I'm going to head over to this screen here. I have the choice to add this Cloudflow from Dataverse. So perhaps it's already in a solution, but in my case, it's going to be outside of Dataverse. So it's in, in not in a solution. So I'm going to go ahead and find my flow that I had just shown you previously. And when I go ahead and add it, and I also have to go ahead and add my desktop flow. I have to do that separately in a separate step. But notice these are the only two components that exist in my solution. I don't have any connection references. So if I go ahead and export this package as is, and then I go ahead and import it into another environment, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that connection references feature because it just doesn't exist at this point um, in this specific solution package. So this is where things get really um, cumbersome is when you've got a managed solution because you still need to establish connections in that downstream environment, uh, which isn't going to end well here for us. So at this point, we're not quite done. What we do want to do is go into our Cloudflow and just click on it. And what it's going to do is take us over to this properties page. And this is that new feature that I had previously mentioned. The flow checker is going to detect that you now have a flow in a solution that doesn't have any connection references. And so this is going to help us create the connection references. And the nice thing about this is previously we'd have to do this manually, like one by one, create connection references. But here it's going to help us accelerate that along the way. And so by clicking on this link here, remove connections so connection references can be added, we're going to be transitioned over to this sort of a screen where we just need to make sure we've got connections established. So when we see the green check mark, we're good. We can then go ahead, click on continue, and then those, uh, and then save our flow, and, and life's good from that perspective. However, if we head back over to Solution Explorer, even refresh the page, we're still going to find that our connection references haven't been added to our solution. And so what we can do to then add them is just click on the ellipsis for our cloud flow then go ahead and click on add required components. When we go ahead and do that, we're now going to see those connection references have been added to our solution. So this is exactly what we want. In addition, I was using a table, so that table was also pulled in, but that's not overly important for this specific scenario. What is important is that we now have these three connection references that have been added to our solution package. So at this point, we can safely go ahead and export our solution as a managed solution you know, to our local file drive so that when we go ahead and then try to import that managed solution in another environment, we're going to get this dialog, right? At this point, we'd have the opportunity to either select an existing connection in that environment, perhaps it's a production environment, um, or we can go ahead and create new if we don't have one. And so you would just click on the drop down click on new, you'll get taken over to a connections page, go ahead, add your credentials, then you'll come back here, the page will refresh, you would then select it from the appropriate drop down, click import, everything should be good at this point, your flow should automatically start or enable, be enabled, which is exactly what you want. So you don't have to touch 
your flows in that production environment and deal with that whole managed unmanaged layer. This is the, the way to sort of get it in there properly from that perspective. So this is a fairly new feature. It's something that hasn't been, I guess, advertised much, but just sort of working with customer have run into this specific scenario. So did want to call it out because previously it was a little bit cumbersome to go ahead and manually add these connection references. But um, in Power Automate, now that has been streamlined where as long as you know what to click and where to look for it, you will be able to do this quite quickly and it's not a whole lot of friction from that perspective. So great to see this feature included. As I mentioned before, when possible, go ahead, create your flows directly in solutions. Your connection references will automatically be added. Sometimes that is impossible. Perhaps it's an older flow that you've been working on. Perhaps it was created from a template. So those are, are not solution aware by default. And so this will just help you get it into the solution so that you've got a smooth deployment path to production itself. So thanks again for checking out this video. If you are not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy. Obviously on YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, comments, always welcome. So go ahead and take care of that. Thanks and we'll see you again next week on the channel.